Okay, continuing on, <clears throat> I'd like to create the keyboard. So to do that, I'm going to go to Create, Polygon Primitives, Cube. And you might not see it, but I can move it out because it's going to be at the center of the grid. And now I'm just going to scale this to be about the size of a keyboard relative to the monitor. There we go. And with this keyboard, I'm going to bring it up a little bit. Um, to get all the keys on the keyboard, um, that could be kind of a time-consuming task. Um, however, there's a couple ways that I could do this. I could go over to the inputs right here, and I could say subdivision width. Okay, I just clicked on the word subdivision width, and then I, if I click with a middle mouse button, I can kind of determine how many divisions I want, like that. Okay, or I could do subdivision looks like depth, and I can kind of go like that. Okay. Um, so yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, so I just, in my case, I did uh, nine and 24, but you could just do whatever kind of makes sense um, with yours. Now I'm gonna go to face mode and I have to extrude these keys up. So I think I'm gonna turn off symmetry. And to select these, I have to be careful. Because if I go like this to select them, just kind of drag over it, it's going to select through to the other side. And I don't want that. Okay. So a good trick to select stuff is hold down the tab key. And now I'm going to select like this. I'm just clicking and dragging with the tab key selected. And you can see that it's not. Whoop, it's not selecting on the other side. Okay, so if I want to go over here, I'm just going to hold down tab, go like that, and then I'm just going like this. And if there's some that I don't want, I can click on it again, and you can see it'll deselect them. Okay, so something like that. I, I know this isn't perfect, um, but it's just an example. And maybe I want there to be um, a space bar. So I'm going to hold down tab and I'm going to deselect that. Okay, good. I'm going to look around the model to make sure that I have only the keys selected. And with only the keys selected, uh, I should say the individual keys, um, I'm going to go to Edit Mesh, Extrude. And when I click on this, before I do anything, I want you to draw your attention to this thing here. Right now, keep faces together is on. That means that they'll all be connected. If I turn that off, now they're all going to be individual. Well, what does that mean? Well, I'm going to grab the blue arrow and pull this up a little bit. And now if I scale this with a red and green, I can see how they're separate. Okay. And watch this. If I switch this to on right now, they're all going to be really welded together as one. I don't want that. I want that to be off. And to see that, I had to kind of extrude in a little bit. So you can see there, I'm getting the individual keys that I want. Now, if I want to do this space bar, I could go like this. I could right click, go to face mode. I'm going to select this, shift, double click on the last one and that'll select the row in between. And now I'm gonna click on extrude. And this time I'm gonna keep faces together checked on, and I'm gonna bring that up, scale in, and like that. And I can see that it's one big button, okay? And what I mean by that is if I push this down, you can see that they're um, essentially kind of glued together, if you will. And that's exactly how I want that. So I use keep faces together unchecked for all the individual keys, and then I kept faces together on for something like this. 95% of the time you are gonna wanna keep faces together checked, okay? So let's take a look at some more kind of cool features here. Um, maybe I want the keyboard to curve down in the front. So I'm gonna do this. Well, actually looking at this, 
I think I'm going to end this lesson here and I'll, and I'll kind of add some pizzazz to the keyboard in the next lesson.